All right, so we've seen here quotes from two very, very good players, Johnny Chan and Chris Ferguson. We've understood variants, uh, why you need to be willing to move down a limit, why you should adhere to bankroll management, as we just looked at here in two of our calculators. Uh, we've looked at the gambler example in order to illustrate exactly why, again, why you should definitely, as a semi-professional player, segment your bankroll. Uh, we looked at the F-theorem, basically never get clouded by hope or fear uh, to the point that you forget common sense. And now what we want to look at is how you track your play like a professional. And this is the profit and loss spreadsheet that I've created uh, both for myself and for the members of my site. Uh, and this will be published um, hopefully in the near future also with the bankroll calculator in our online shop. Uh, after we get done with the P&L spreadsheet, we'll jump into a about 15, I think 15 real money example hands uh, in the Hold'em Manager Replayer in order to illustrate this topic of variance isn't just some theoretical or abstract idea, but uh, very, very real. And these are basically yeah, 15 hands that I picked from the small and middle limits primarily from my database to illustrate this point. But first, um, let's get into this profit and loss spreadsheet to show you guys exactly exactly how you need to track your play so that you're honest with yourself uh, and that you see how how your how your play is developing over time, and that you also see how and where um, you're running well and where you're having issues. All of this is uh, entailed in the spreadsheet. And again, that will be provided for you guys uh, in the near future in our online shop. So this is the profit and loss uh, spreadsheet. And the way this works, guys, is as follows. We've got here 2003 accounts, uh, 2011 accounts, sorry. Uh, December 2010, January, February, all the way down the line. And this is basically your balance statement at the end of the month. So all you got to do is, let's say you start... Um, total lot of capital of 1500 euros and that's basically multiplied by what you'll see here shortly um, by the exchange rate converter but yeah around 2000 US in your starting capital let's say you start at poker heaven which is the online casino that I currently promote um, yeah I've been in contact with their management for a long time they seem to be really really great guys I've played at the site myself uh, just top shelf operation and I can only recommend it So let's say you go there um, and you yeah you allot 2000 US to your total capital let's say you've also got 1000 in your live account and again guys here for clarity for you I would definitely recommend having a physical location for your allotted poker capital, i.e. bankroll, either in your safe at the house or if you're playing online here, have it at an online account, um, either at the casino itself or um, yeah, there are various various online PayPal equivalents, uh, especially for um, online poker. Definitely look into those guys. I won't go into detail with that here, but that's a good idea um, when you get started. And you see here your online account. Let's say, let's say I transfer two thousand to Poker Heaven when I first get started, uh, and I've still got a grand in my online poker account. So right, so my total bankroll for two thousand eleven in January would be at that point four thousand forty. All right, if I decide then at one point to cash this thousand, all right, I would just cash that out and move on. You see how that updates. Live cash out, you know, as you like. Um, on the far right side, that you guys see how that functions. Year to date cash outs. Uh, here's your exchange rate. Uh, I've got it set up for US dollars to euros, which these two are primarily the the currencies I play in. And yeah, as of the recording, it was around 1.36 um, dollar to euro. What I've got over here, too, guys, is a legend for the games that you're playing. And that means you come in here and you basically highlight what you've got and you'll just change the color so that you know uh, which game you're playing for that slot. And above that we've got an expense tracker. It means transfer fees, ATM fees, anything else. 
And this is basically running your poker as a business. And this is how professionals do it. So you track everything. <laughs> you track all your expenses per month. Uh, and that's going to be here in the transfer fees section. Uh, I don't think that's in the viewing area, but underneath, underneath here, you've got basically five tabs, uh, six, seven tabs for multiple years. So I've set this up for, for you guys for five years of play. That means you'll have to do nothing other than this one spreadsheet to track your play perfectly. Transfer to the site, you would just basically put your poker site here, uh, process by, uh, you know, whatever the date is. This would be then your online account. US dollars transferred is what you enter here, is always in yellow. Your exchange rate, the euro equivalent is then calculated for you. The account exchange rate is also calculated. This is what was then transferred, and you guys can play with that a bit. And that's that's pretty much how you do it. And that you can just extend down approaching infinity here with Excel. So, yeah, that's to keep your um, transfer costs very clear. That's something you can use if you want to. Not everybody does. I use it myself. I think it's very useful um, to run your poker as disciplined as you would uh, your own business. And that's the idea. So back to the 2011 spreadsheet. What you guys see here in the top left corner is 2011 profit and loss with rake back and bonus. Uh, that means that when you play, for example, at sites like Poker Heaven, um, where I've set up a deal for you guys that you get 30% rake back per month uh, plus a sign-on bonus, which is huge, of a thousand up to a thousand euros. Um, you're going to anytime you play, you and and you have a enough rake for the month, you're going to get a so-called rake back. That means that the, the casino then pays you a certain percentage, actually in our deal, 30%, uh, on a monthly basis based on your play. And that is going to be your total profit and loss, including the rake back and bonuses you've received from any online sites or offline. I've set it up also so that you see how you're running without rake back and bonus, which is important <laughs> to, to know that, you know, Maybe you're maybe you're running uh, profitably with with rake back, but you've actually got a leak or you're losing if you didn't have that rake back or bonus offer. These are things to definitely keep in mind. Uh, year to date bonuses is calculated here. Your year to date rake back is here. Your year to date expenses again you enter yourself, and that's how that calculates down. Year to date balance. Okay, we'll get into the examples here below, but that's how that works out. Cash. Profit and loss with rake back and bonus it means cash games as opposed to tournaments, and that's distinguished by hours of play, total work weeks, uh, defined as an eight hour day, five days a week, of course. Uh, your year to date rate per hour, your hourly rate, uh, without bonuses, the average big blinds that you're playing, and your average uh, big blind per hour without bonuses, what you're actually earning here. And yeah, that's how that works. I've set the same up for tournament play, right? And that's more or less the same here. A lot of guys who are cash cash game players primarily will run a you know multi-table tournament or two on the side while they're playing their cash game. So I've put here that the hours very often will overlap with your cash game play. Not necessarily. It depends on what you're doing, but that's how that's set up. Year-to-date rate per hour again for tournaments um, and with and without bonuses. So we'll just go through a couple examples to show you how this works. Okay, so I've I've gone to winnerinaweek.com. I've set up my Poker Heaven account. I've made my initial transfer of the equivalent of 2,000 US, and I've got this allotted capital at that online poker site. Good. My live account, my live poker account, is a thousand, as we just had, and this is how you do it. It's very very simple. All of this above is calculated for you, um, and as we just had, uh, you know, with and without rake back, your total bonuses and rake back expenses, all of this, this is the section here for cash games, this is the section for tournaments again, um, all of that is calculated for you. All you have to do is at the end of the month, one day per month, enter your updated bankroll at that respective site or in your live account. And then for any given session, you just enter the following. You enter your start time. This is military time for clarity. So you started at 10.30 p.m. And you played until 2 in the morning. 
uh, which is uh, if you're playing a cash game here uh, in a live setting, that's going to often be the case. Uh, online, you can avoid that, of course. You don't need to be playing late at night um, unless unless you have good reason to do so. Uh, but let's say you are at the live casino. You know, you start at 10:30, you play till two, or let's say you play till three in the morning. Very good. That updates automatically for you uh, based on the formula, which is a bit complex. But um, all you have to do is enter your start and end time, and I've calculated that so that um, even when you play around the clock, that that updates for you. Let's say you're playing an NL50 table, so the big blind is 50 cents, small blind is 25 cents. You buy in for the full 100 big blinds and that's going to be 50 bucks. You only play the one table of course because you're at a live game and you start with 1000 in your total bankroll and let's say you double up in a bit after tips, after everything, you know, you, you came to the table, your total bankroll was 1000, you bought in for 50 bucks. You leave the table with 55 uh, let's say uh, yeah, you would leave the table here in this case for 105, and your total change, your total bankroll change, would be from 1,000 to 1,055, and that's a total increase for you of 55 bucks. Not bad. So um, that's what you would enter for that night, and that's it. You didn't receive any bonuses or any rate back because you're playing at a live casino. Your hourly rate at that casino for those uh, four and a half hours of play was. Twelve dollars and twenty-two cents per hour. Now, if let's say you got there and actually you end up dropping that fifty bucks, you lose your one buy-in. You had some free drinks and a good night. You drop fifty bucks. You know it happens, and you take off at again three in the morning. Your hourly rate was now minus eleven point eleven, and that's how you play with that. So that's the one session, you know, let's say you go back, that's a Saturday night at your local casino or underground game. You go back on Friday uh, somewhere else, you start maybe earlier, you, you get in at the tournament. That's 9 a.m. by the way, guys. So if you're going to start at uh, 9 p.m., of course, you enter 2100. It's important. Let's say, again, you play till 3. Uh, this time you're not playing at NL50, but the table big blind is 2 euros, or $2.00. And you buy in again with a big stack strategy um, for 200, basically 100 times the big blind. All right, you play the one table again. You're playing a live table. Uh, your live bankroll is, of course, 1055, and you end up with, let's say, whatever. Um, you win a bit, and you take it up to 145 for the night. So. For these 51 hours, <laughs> uh, let's look at this. For these six hours of play, um, you made 145 bucks, which was 24.17 per hour at that location. Let's say you weren't playing Texas Hold'em, but uh, Omaha. Pot limit Omaha, you would then color code that, not split, but Omaha high. You would color code that to this color so that you know that you weren't playing a hold'em game here or a seven stud game but rather uh, Omaha and that you just do DXL as you all well know. Good so moving on down let's say um, you guys see here this is session one, session two, session three for cash games. Good. Underneath you've got tournaments in live poker and again guys you just come in here and enter the site wherever you're playing um, unimportant. So let's say uh, we start here at 8 p.m., bust out, unfortunately, a bit early. Um, you know, we didn't quite make it into the money. So we bought in for our tournament for 50 bucks, which we just enter here. Total starting chips for 2,000. My buy-in was 50. Let's call it 55 with the rake. I just played the one tournament, and I started again with, uh, let's say, from above, my online... Ah, yeah, that's incorrect. We're playing live, so we'll just stick with it. 1,200. And I drop down to total loss of 55. Good, so I entered my bankroll here, whatever the current state is, 1,200. You know, I paid my 55, 
Uh, my bankroll at the end of the night, unfortunately, was exactly the, the difference. So I just enter that, and everything else updates for me. And that's how I ran. Uh, Live poker hourly rate here, you see, was at that point, then for this 1.67 hours, negative 33 per hour. Um, Could have gone differently. Let's say we went the distance, a uh, really long tournament, maybe 1,000-something players. Uh, tournament buy-in was 110 this time, for example purposes. And I end up cashing uh, for whatever. You know, let's say I cash pretty deep here for 800. Um, total change now is 800 bucks. So I started with 12, ended with 2, just enter the time that I played and everything else runs for me. And if you guys look up here, all of that is being updated here for you. So here for your tournament play, that's how that worked out. Total hours, 12, rate per hour at 70.5, you're running really, really well. And again, you don't even have to touch that except for the expenses. And yeah, once a month you just update that and as you're playing either live or online, you go through here and just update, update what you're doing per session and that's it. Uh, let's take one more example, um, just so you guys see the whole the whole spreadsheet and how the, uh, spreadsheet and how this functions. Um, again, session one. Let's say you play multiple tournaments. Okay, let's say you started you started uh, your Saturday super early morning tournament somewhere live. You played from nine to noon. Uh, Buy-in was fifty-five. One table tournament. Uh, you end up placing in the money. Um, you get three times your buy-in. You know you didn't place too deep, but you you know made a decent return, and that's how that worked out. Good. No bonus. No rake back. You start session two then in the afternoon at 4 p.m. You play until nine, which is of course military time, 2100. For five hours, you start chips again. Let's say we're 2000. Why not? Um, you buy in here for this tournament at 110. And just one tournament played. Your tournament start is this. That's your bankroll. And if you lost, and say so you didn't cash this time, you just lost basically your buy in. So now you're down to 1240. So a total bankroll change of how much? Yes, $40. And that for your total hours played of eight comes up to, imagine that five bucks per hour for your live tournament play and that's how that works out so um, that would be session two if you do happen to play three <laughs> live session tournaments it's pretty intense um, it does happen so I've set it up like that but the setup for this is more for online play functions of course online and offline but here we have it uh, online casino you just basically type in here wherever you're playing uh, poker heaven for example uh, cash game in the site I would just enter that here as well so basically what I'm seeing here is hourly rate for my cash game play at this casino alright I'll update that I would go ahead and update these as well whatever you can do that on your on your own time so I go ahead and make my my initial deposit you know I've got this fantastic deal of 200 percent of my sign-on uh, amount up to a thousand euros plus thirty percent rate back per month alright and I run my first cash game session here at poker heaven at two o'clock I start at two I keep the time management I'm running two hour sessions and I'm hearing adhering to bankroll management I start my my session with a total bankroll of two thousand forty US dollar equivalent I play in a one hundred and I play four tables. Exactly four tables for two hours at this level. I buy in playing a big stack strategy for 100 big blinds. And that's how it runs. I end up winning 70 bucks total. And what you're going to do is, you know, at the end of your session, you basically click on your cashier button at, uh, at the online poker software. And you see what your total account amount is. And that's basically your bankroll in. So bankroll start you start your session you have a quick look type that in end your session have another quick look type that in and that's it um, when you do sign on 
let's say again at Poker Heaven um, via winnerinaweek.com, you're going to get this bonus, the sign-on bonus paid out to you at certain intervals, and then you're going to get a monthly rakeback payment. So just to show you guys how this works over time, I've just I've just pasted this a few times as if these were independent sessions on different days, and it calculates as follows: um, for the month, you've got here January 2011, a total earnings, a total winnings of four hundred and six dollars and twenty cents, based on all your sessions of play for that month. That means cash game tournaments, everything together. And what you're going to see here is a payment of, let's say you play another session, again, 2 o'clock, you're a 2 o'clock guy or gal, and you're running your two two sessions here, and now you're not playing um, you're not playing NL100. Let's say you've already moved up to NL200. So the big blind is now 2. Uh, you buy in, again, big stack strategy for 200, basically 100 big blinds, playing four tables. Uh, your bankroll start is yeah, whatever, um, 2,500, and your bankroll end is then 2,700. Yeah, so you made 200 for that session, and you also got not only not only what you won here, right? But you got a full thousand euro bonus, so that would be actually. 1,000 times 1.37, let's call it. So it's going to be 1,000 euros. So 100, th basically 1,370 US dollars was your bonus for the 30-day period. And for all of your play in January, you then get credited, uh, let's say, 30% of your rake. No idea. Just as an example, we'll put 300 in there. So this was your actual play. Okay, so you made 200 bucks on those four tables. You looked before your session at your bankroll, and it was 2,500. You made 200, but all of a sudden, it's not just the 200 that you see there, but more or less 1,800 on top of it, right? So, what your in bankroll is going to show in the platform there at your cashier of your online casino, it's not going to be 2,700. It's going to be the 200 you won for your session plus the bonus that you were paid, plus the rake back from the previous month. So all you got to do again is, guys, you don't need to think, ah, oh, shit, what was the difference? Um, you know, I won 200, and then, then the bonus came, and the rake back came, and, you know, I was getting all these different perks from Poker Heaven, whatever. You know, how do I actually track that? This spreadsheet makes it very, very simple for you. You look at your bankroll at that platform at the start of your session, enter that here, click on the cashier button again <laughs> look at it again and you're not gonna see 2700 but you're gonna see the 2500 that you started with the 200 that you actually ended up winning in this session and you're gonna see the bonus and the rake back included in that and most platforms of course distinguish this so that you know exactly how much was bonus and how much was rake back uh, that you enter yourself but your total bankroll change for that session was 1870 Imagine that, and that is definitely possible here with this deal. Um, you know, at the end of the 30-day period or whatever it is, but you've got to be very clear here on how you enter that. So again, beginning of the session, you check your cashier; it's 2,500. End of the session, it's 4,370. You think, shit, well, that's a lot. <laughs> Maybe something's wrong, uh, and you notice, okay, it's not just my winnings for that session, but also the bonus and the rake back from that online poker site. So here we see 1370 and 300 for that. And if we go back up to our automation, we're going to see here that our total earnings, profit and loss, with the rake back and the bonus is 2516. Uh, and that's again profit, guys. Um, and without the rake back and the bonus, we would have only made 768. So here you're starting to see why bonuses and rake backs are so important. Um, it's not that everybody's going to get the full the full bonus or, or massive rakebacks all the time. That's you know dependent very much on your play, but um, you can see what potential differences you could have, and that added up over time is no by any means absolutely no insignificant amount. So as you see here, 
rate back and bonuses uh, are crucial to your bottom line. And yeah, I think I've set up a really good deal for you guys here with Poker Heaven. Uh, it's again the only poker site that I'm going to be promoting uh, as of the official launch of my site. Uh, and then we'll take it from there. But I know these guys are good. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, I've, I've only uh, promoted uh, both software and casinos that I know are good. Uh, and where I've also myself played. So uh, that's the principle we have at winnerinaweek.com. Uh, anything you see on our site uh, is something that I myself uh, have used or somewhere where I have myself played. Very, very good. We've got, I think, pretty much everything now concerning this spreadsheet that you needed to see. And what happens in over time is that, you know, you're just going to go through here. At the end of the month, you just update wherever you're playing as you go. Um, you enter your sessions, you know, start time, end time, big blind, average buy-in, total tables played at the respective casinos. Uh, if you run your second session, as you guys see here, you just do it in the second session slot. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you get your monthly earnings here above, you know, playing live for January here if we only played those couple of days. We made 240 bucks. Fantastic. How'd it go for February? Well, it's zero right now because we haven't entered anything. But let's say, okay, we play a couple. We do a uh, 5 p.m. or uh, cash game session, no limit, somewhere on the strip. Uh, only play till 10. And let's say we played with, uh, let's play, let's play NL 1000. Uh, we bought in for a full grand. Played one table. Uh, started with 1500 hopefully or whatever at that point <laughs> which be far too small let's say we're proper bankroll management adherence and we started with 20k <laughs> as we should and we end up uh, yeah why not we win 800 bucks okay bankroll at the start to 20k bankroll at the finish of my session five hours and yeah five hours on the strip I won 800 bucks. I'm making 160 an hour. Uh, for February, it shows exactly the 800. And if I play a few more sessions or a session underneath, then that's just updated as, as you just saw. Yeah, and with that, guys, um, that's how you move throughout time using this uh, workbook. And you would go from the 2011 spreadsheet to the 2012 spreadsheet next year. And that would you just start again from the first and move forward. Uh, that. Proceeds on for the 13th, uh, 2013, 2014, 2015 we have, 2016, as you guys see above. And at the end, you've got your P&L summary. And what that does is sum up all of your years in one clean and simple little uh, table. And these are your earnings up to, that, up to that point. So this is how this works for you. And you just come in here if you want to and do your annual balance. Uh, just enter that there and this whole section is automated for you. So at this point, if if that's all you played, you would have played in cash game scenarios uh, 32 hours total and with rake back and bonus you would have made 3,200 what do we have? 3,230. Not a bad return. Without the rake back and bonus you would have only had 1,482. In your tournament play, you made 86 uh, for about 13 hours of play in tournaments uh, for an hourly rate of 660. Your hourly rate again at the cash game with the bonus and without the bonus is um, 99 and 45 respectively. This you don't have to touch. It's automated for you year over year. You know, if you want to, just to be a professional player, you can update that as your balance sheet. Uh, if you're declaring your taxes, you can also use this as your accounting system. It's also that's actually the idea of it. Um, so that's how it works out, guys. Again, uh, a yearly profit and loss sheet where you can also use up here your balance uh, records for tracking your play. And that's how that's how professional players do it. And that's how uh, really good recreational players do it. And that's how all of you should do it. Um, many benefits to that. Uh, first and foremost, being honest with yourself knowing exactly how you're running over time, um, knowing how and where you should play, 
i.e. according to bankroll management and yeah seeing how you do at different sites as well you know you're gonna have better results maybe at poker heaven than you will at other sites uh, and vice versa uh, maybe you have better results playing live than online you're gonna see maybe over time you know whenever I'm playing uh, let's go down to poker heaven again let's say whenever I'm playing whenever I notice that I play nine tables right I'm not um, let's see I think the formulas were lost yeah um, let's say whenever I play nine tables I see that I'm not I'm not performing as well as I am when I'm playing four so let's say here over a period of time I see I see <laughs> big losses I see a loss here you know I play play another niner here and I see another loss here big loss say whatever I'm starting to see a trend right that my average tables my best return is when I'm playing four tables not more I notice that when I'm playing five six seven and eight tables that my win rate goes down because maybe maybe I'm new to the game it's a bit too much whatever I can't follow it and that also is helpful for your game because then you know you know what your optimal win rate is per tables played online when multi-tabling so all of these different perks are included in this profit and loss sheet um, plus it's it's a tool to keep you honest uh, honest with yourself know where uh, you've made your winnings uh, know where you maybe took a couple hits and how you should adjust